Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I wanted to do a uh, video on my chocolate vine today, but I wanted to feature the first time that I've had flowers on my cream flower variety. Now, if you've been following my adventures with these chocolate vines over the last two or three years, you might be aware that um, I've got three very well established plants in the ground now. Uh, the one that I got first was that one, that one there, which is absolutely huge at the base and covered it's absolutely a mass of flowers. You can hardly see, you can hardly see the stems for the flowers now on it. And that is a traditional, uh, the traditional purple flowered one. But, and because I knew that they needed cross pollination by a, a different genetic variety, I bought another one. One, this one came from the UK. I think it came from uh, maybe it was Burncoos Nurseries, and this one came from a supplier in France because I was pretty sure that it would, if I got it from France, be a different genetic background. And sure enough, for the last two years, I've had fruits. But I also bought the cream flowered one, which tends to be uh, a little bit of a weaker plant and less certainly less aggressive growing so far but and because it was a younger plant it's taken it a couple of years to get going but for the first time this year i have actually got uh flowers on the cream variety and i've got both female and male flowers the ones on the that one on the right there i don't know if you can see it is the female flower it has those little like almost like sausages on and they develop into the fruits and next to that are the male flowers they have this sort of lovely lilac center to them those are the male parts of the flowers and they tend to certainly when they're younger they produce a lot less female flowers there's another one up there but the female flowers do appear on the same inflorescences as the male ones however they're not generally self-fertile um, but this is the first year they've actually seen there's another more bunches here again that larger buds on the left will be the female and the smaller ones will be the male but it's the first year that I've actually had uh, the white flowers visible i may have had the old one before and not spotted them but now they're on separate stems it's very easy to see so that's um that's going to allow even better cross pollination because the cream one pollinates very well with the with the traditional purple one and again you can see the they're the female flowers there and the male flowers next to them but these are very much showier because you can see the lilac um, stamens against the cream background now um, my good friend uh, Mike has managed to get fruits off his cream flowered one and I noticed they were a much much paler fruit than the traditional purple flowered one so um, it should be inter interesting to see this year if any of these set flower uh, fruits what the fruits look like um, I did get fruits last year I mean they're a very interesting fruit with a nice flavor of flesh but the problem is they're full of I mean literally hundreds if not thousands of bitter black seeds so you can't when you're eating the flesh easily separate the seeds and there's so many you don't want to spit them out so all I've been doing is uh, mixing the pulp with water and passing it through a sieve so that the uh, black seeds are sieved out and you can then uh, you can then eat the pulp as a sort of a watered down juice but it would be nice to eat the flesh if only the seeds were edible Nothing like pomegranates, unfortunately. So that's my beautiful chocolate vine. And for the first time, we've got the cream flowered ones in full flower this year. So uh, should be better cross pollination. And obviously I'll do updates on that if we get any fruit set in the next month or so. These will flower for several more weeks. And even if it's frosty, they should still flower. So thanks for watching the uh, video. Please give me a thumbs up, welcome to share the video of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber and remember to click on the bell 
if you like to uh, know when new videos come out which will include updates on this later in the spring I'll see you all in the next video Brett out for now